So you're thinking about moving to Laguna Niguel. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get out the map and we're going to tell you everything you need to know about living in Laguna Niguel and that includes the negative things. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazod. And I'm Courtney Dazod. And we're with Keller Williams Schulte right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing in Orange County, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Now, we get so many calls from people that are either looking to buy or sell a home in Orange County, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking about moving to moving from or moving within Orange County, either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So now we are in Orange County. Yes, Orange County, California. Ah, so nice. <laughs> our, our orange savior. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is a nice little shining beacon of light in... in of Cal orange light. Of orange light in... Let's be honest, the disaster that is California. Oh my goodness, that, that hurts. <laughs> okay, so Orange County is right here. As you can see, you know, obviously landmass wise are pretty small, but mm -hmm. we have a lot of, we have actually have a good amount of population here. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting though about Orange County is that even though it's a lot of population, it doesn't feel that densely populated. No, it's it doesn't. It's nothing pretty crazy. We don't have like a crazy amount of high rises. Mm -hmm. You know, things are pretty, pretty much one and two stories across the county. Now, not everywhere, of course, but mm -hmm. mostly. Traffic, what, traffic is not horrendous either. Like any big cities can have bad traffic. But I mean, my sister lives in Dallas and I would say it's pretty similar traffic. And I would say even in parts of Dallas, I would say is worse than, than Orange County. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Yeah. And we, what's nice that you can see about Orange County is that you just have a ton of freeways, right, that run through this. So mm -hmm. Even though this, this county is pretty small, like it just has so many freeways like running. You have the 73 freeway, you have the 5 freeway, you have the 405 freeway, you have the... Uh, 57, you have the 91, you know, we just have so many freeways that run through here. It's pretty incredible. It's really easy to get wherever you need to go. Yeah, and so then, instead of a river runs through it, it's a freeway runs oh, through yes. it. Oh, yes, and then we can get everywhere. <laughs> so uh, that's what we, like, you know, that's, what, that's an amazing, amazing thing. So as we zoom into Laguna Niguel itself, we're going to go, so just kind of give you an idea of Laguna Niguel. Let's zoom in. We love ourselves in Laguna Niguel. So Laguna Niguel itself is... So as you can see, it's really close to the coast here, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it doesn't quite technically touch the coast, mm -hmm. but it's really, really close. I sold properties that are like basically right on this dividing line here, and it's a stone's throw away from Pacific Coast Highway, which runs yeah. right along the coastline here. You can see a be you can get um, ocean views um, in a decent amount of houses in Laguna Niguel, and you can when you get to the southern part of Laguna Niguel, you can definitely smell the ocean. I mean, it, f it feels like the beach. Definitely. Yeah, and sure. so um, every night I try to figure out, okay, you know, what's the weather like? Because I, I and Laguna Niguel is a fascinating city to me, and so a lot of times I'll say, well, what you know, when if I what if I ask what the Laguna, weather's like in Laguna Niguel. It really depends on where Laguna Gel. Yeah, it does sure. vary pretty dramatically. If you're close to the coast here, very different weather than if you're, you know, hovering close to the five freeway. Yeah, I would say Laguna Gel is kind of split into two parts. You get the coastal side of it, and then you get the side of it that's close to the lake. Yes. And the lake side, it's it's definitely so it's close to Aliso Viejo. So this is this is the lake here. Yeah, and and it's close to Aliso Woods, which is that green patch right there. You want to see. Oh, this year. Yeah, so Aliso Woods and Canyon Wilderness Park. And this part of Laguna Niguel definitely is a little bit hotter. Again, we're splitting hairs, but if we get any comments from locals, they will tell us that, you know, that's hot. It's hot over there, <laughs> right? I mean, these are spoiled Southern Californians, right? Uh, anyone who's coming from literally anywhere in the world or anywhere else in the world will not think it's hot. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing, actually. As you get closer to the coast here, I mean, you're, you know, around here, oops, that's not the right one, um, around here, like, it's it's kind of amazing. Here, 
you get the sea breeze. Mm-hmm. You, it, it feels very much like Monarch Beach slash Dana Point yeah. slash Laguna Laguna Beach, right? You get that very beachy mm-hmm. feel, the sea breeze and everything. Mm-hmm. But as you get farther out, it's it's kind of amazing. It, it, it is a bit warmer here. You're definitely going to be turning on your air conditioner if you're in this area. Yeah, for sure. But then one pro of that area yes. is that it's very close to the 73 and the 5. I would say some some of the, you know, Sean sold the property last year very close to the Laguna Niguel border in the Dana Point. And driving down there, <laughs> it literally, it would sometimes feel like you were driving a half an hour just to get to the freeway. So, you know, it can be a bit of a trek. So if you are having to go into work every day and you're living, you know, in the part of Laguna Niguel that's near the beach, I don't know. It, it depends on how much you don't mind driving. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I mean it's, it does feel like a bit of a drive off mm-hmm. the freeway. Yeah. Now, as you, yeah, and as Courtney was alluding to, as you get closer to the 5 and 73 freeways, it's actually very easy to get to wherever you need to go to. Mm-hmm. I mean, especially if you don't mind taking the 73 freeway, this is a toll road. And to kind of give you an idea where the 73 freeway takes you, it'll launch you. Like if you, let's say if you work in Newport Beach, for instance, mm-hmm. this 73 freeway is straight shot into Newport Beach, right? Yeah. So again, there is a toll. So just kind of, mm-hmm. and we and in it, Southern Californians do not love tolls. Yeah. And it's rather expensive. Depending on the time of the day. Yeah. For yeah sure. it's, it's, it's not 93 on one freeway expensive. That's though. true. It's not the 91. So the 91 is the freeway you take it to get to Riverside County. No, brutal. that's brutal for sure. 73, I'd say, is one of the cheaper ones, but I'm using cheap loosely here. Cheap. <laughs> if you're using it every day, that's going to add up if you're using it back and forth every day. No, so just have that in your budget. If, that, yeah, if yeah. that's what you want on the 73 freeway, like that's going to be an issue. And like in, in the 73 freeway is a bit seductive too because, mm-hmm. you know, you might take it for only a couple exits. Let's say you don't need to go all the way to Newport. Mm-hmm. Well, good news is that about Laguna Gale is that there's a lot of um, big arteries here. Like there's a lot of big streets. So La Paz is a big road. Crown Valley Parkway is a big road. Um, Molten is also a huge like. So yeah, you have, so if there's a huge traffic jam, for Alicia example, Parkway, yeah. if there's a huge traffic jam, you can actually take Molten all the way to Irvine. Yep. So and it's and actually, Molten becomes Irvine Center Drive, which yeah. takes you right to the Spectrum. Yeah. So we so you actually can use that. Um, let's which say, I have. <laughs> yeah. If there's like some huge accident or whatever, um, you can take Molten, and it can get you pretty far you know, wherever you want to go. So that's just an option. And it's a pretty, it's a big street and it moves quickly. I mean, obviously not as quickly as the freeway, but if the freeway is shut down because of a... Yeah, depending on the exit, because <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is kind of amazing. There's, I mean, these roads are, they're almost freeways in and of themselves. Yeah, for they're sure. They're not like a two lane road. They're, mm-hmm. you know, eight lanes across sometimes. Yeah. And, and again, these are, these will get you They'll dump you like to the freeway pretty quickly. So yeah. we have lots of major arteries right here. Yeah, like Alicia Parkway, Crown Valley Parkway, mm-hmm. Molten, um, you know, Oso, mm-hmm. yeah, La Paz. I mean, so many. So like it's from my perspective, it's really great to get wherever you need to go to from anywhere in Laguna Gale to the freeway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so do you want to talk, since we're just hovering over the lake area, you want to talk about some of the neighborhoods around here? I'm seeing Kite Hill yes. right there. Kite Hill's super cute. I, I like Kite Hill a lot. It's a bit older neighborhood for Laguna Niguel standards. Like stuff's built in the 70s, 80s, I would say. Mm-hmm. But bigger homes, mm-hmm. like a lot of this has great views. And mm-hmm. when we say great views, nice thing about Laguna Niguel, because of the topography, mm-hmm. it's hilly. Yeah. So it's not like the like it's not like Irvine and a lot a lot of Irvine, I should say, where it's super flat mm-hmm. and therefore like uh, you have it's a good opportunity to be like really densely populated in that in a flat area, right? So you mm-hmm. it's like the Brady Bunch where you have your houses in the middle and then you have eight houses right like surrounding it. Mm-hmm. In Laguna Niguel, it's just because of the way it, it is. It doesn't feel like things are right. People are your neighbors are right on top of you. Yeah. So that's one nice aspect about the topography. Second is that. Seemingly, so many houses have views here, too. Yeah, for sure. Whether it's a view of, well, up here, you're not going to get ocean views, but you can get, you know, canyon views, views of the lake. Lake yeah. Yeah, because you're right next to Aliso Woods. If you want to zoom out and show where Aliso Woods is, Aliso Woods is a, it's, you know where Soka is. Uh, it's, it's, it's this big swath of land kind of separating Laguna Beach from Aliso Viejo and Laguna Niguel. And it's nice wildlife out there. Um... It's just a nice 
peaceful plot yeah, of land. Yeah, if you're looking to like mountain bike, mm-hmm. hike, yeah. walk, run, yeah, <laughs> like, there's it's a, great option. Yeah, there. there's a cute hike up there, top of the world hike. You can actually hike up and then you see all of Laguna Beach, which is... We, in fact, uh, there was a hike we went on just the other day, actually, mm-hmm. on the, the top of the world hike and we got our kids running. Yeah, so it's, it's a great little, it's a very popular... Um, recreational area in Orange County. It's it's always crowded. If the weather's nice, it's always crowded out there. Yeah, and then next to it is, uh, you know, like right here, Laguna Gal Regional Park. This is a really nice park. So it's again on the northern side. Of, you know, it's on toward the northern edge of Laguna Gal. Mm-hmm. And what's cool about this park is that you know it's a great place to ride your bike around. Not necessarily mar- mountain bike riding per se, because it's all yeah. you know it's all paved. But it's got a nice size reservoir lake, Lagoon Niguel Lake here. Mm-hmm. And then it's a good place to walk, to run. There's playgrounds here, great place for picnics. Mm-hmm. So it's just a really popular spot. Mm-hmm. And, and again, it's a regional park as far as that goes. Yeah. And then, um, and then, and you'll notice like, again, Laguna Gal has parks all over the place. It's not yeah. just like these big parks. It kind, it kind of, as a South County city, it kind of copies Irvine in that they try to have a park on every corner. I yes. would say, um, you know, we, we kind of joke that Irvine is the land of 10,000 parks. And and Laguna Niguel tries to copy that, I would say. Yes, for sure. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then as far or as... Or do you want to... Since Community Roots Academy well, is right there. Why, why don't we go a little bit farther north? Because, see, this is important to me. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> the north, so Laguna Niguel itself. So we go and zoom back out, right? So Laguna Niguel, the northern part. So what's important to me about this little pocket here. So this is going to be where your major big box stores are. Mm-hmm. So this is where you have your Costco's, which is near and dear to my heart. Yes. Um, there's Walmart here. There's Home Depot, Sprouts. Okay, if you don't know much about like uh, farmer's markets or organic foods, like, you know, health food stores. Uh-huh. You know, Orange County, we have uh, like three major ones. So we have Whole Foods Market, which actually is here too. Yeah, there's Whole Foods. And then we have Sprouts. Mm-hmm. And then we also have Mother's Mar- Mother's Market's not in Laguna Niguel itself, but it's pretty close by. Yeah, but these are Laguna, your major... Laguna Woods. Yeah, so if you're looking for organic foods, those are going to be your major go-tos. Yeah, and they do have a farmer's market yes, there in this, actually, on in this Sundays. Center, yeah. And it's a, it's a pretty decent one, actually, I would yeah, say. Yeah, so, yeah, it's right here. So uh, they have it right... Pretty close to the Sprouts Farmer's Market, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so they actually do have a proper farmer's market. It's not huge like the Irvine Farmer's Market, but actually checks off all the boxes. You get your produce, you get your meats, and all the stuff. So it's it, this I would, area. I would say the one thing it lacks, it doesn't have a really good fish person. Oh. So. Well, then just, we can't go there anymore. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so that's kind of where you're, a lot of your shopping is going to be right in this corridor here. So that's kind of right here, right? Yeah. And then, uh, but the other parts of the shopping, we probably should just kind of get those out of the way is kind of like your like de facto downtown, I would say. Mm-hmm. So this is where Crown Valley Parkway and you know, and Niguel Road kind of more or less intersect, and Alicia Parkway too. So this this pocket right here, and we can't talk about downtown without talking about China Moon. Oh, yeah, China Moon. Okay. <laughs> so if you want good, like, fantastic Chinese food. It's actually – so China Moon has actually been voted um, – uh, the best restaurant in all of Orange County by one of Orange County's most famous food critics. Her name was Fifi Chow, and she worked for the Orange County Business Journal. And, and, and Fifi was right. <laughs> she was. Fifi, it is a I great. Mean, it's a great restaurant. Yeah, China Moon, so good. I mean, oh gosh, the, the, their dumplings are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Their kung pao chicken's great. I mean, again, everything's good. Yeah, our our kids can't wait to to like. Yeah. They, they're always actually they're asked us. Today, yeah, can like, we go, can to, we go China? to China Moon? <laughs> yeah, and actually, we told them that once we get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, uh, we can go to China yeah, Moon. Yeah, so I guess so. We got there. Yay! Yeah, we did it. So now we have to go to China Moon. And so yeah, so so China Moon, fantastic. But again, this is where you have your city hall. Um, you just got you know you have actually Baja Fish Tacos here too, and I, I that's actually a really tasty place to, to eat as well, like Baja Fish Tacos. And then th- this is technically downtown Laguna Niguel. And the city of Laguna Niguel has been saying for literally 20 years that they're going to build out to have this be a proper downtown. They keep claiming that they are. I think the last I saw, there was new plans for it. I mean, I don't know if that will ever happen. That's the plan. They've been it saying it. They've been saying it for 20 years. We'll see what happens. So yeah. tw- 20 years from now, let's see. We'll see. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's another 20 years, right? I know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's your downtown area. So, that's another major spot where you're going to have your restaurants and some shopping, like, you know, some grocery stores, drugstores, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, of course, like your city hall and that kind of thing. So, and do you want to click on Community Roots Academy? Sure. Since we're here. 
So um, this is just a popular school. People like it because it um, it uses sort of a different philosophy. It's the Reggio philosophy, I believe. So which is similar to Montessori, although I'm sure if some if you told that to somebody, they would say that my that's face. not true. Yeah, yeah, my face. <laughs> but you know, it's not. It's more. It's a lot of more hands-on learning. A lot of arts, like gardens. You know, you think of kids. They play in the gardens looking for fairies and that kind of stuff. Like that's so a lot. So Community Roots Academy is very popular in Laguna Niguel with a lot of uh, parents. So that's just a, a plus about living in Laguna Niguel. Uh, and, and I guess if we were talking about schools, we should talk about, okay, Laguna Niguel itself is located in the Capistrano Unified School District. Mm -hmm. And so um, really, okay, it's one of the better school districts in Orange County, which already has great schools, you know, going mm -hmm. to niche.com. And yeah. on top of that, what we love about, you know, Capistrano Unified School District is that it does offer inter-district transferability. So you don't have to be necessarily in the school zone where your house is. If you're, you know, if you live here, you can go to different schools because mm -hmm. uh, they're actually known for having, you know, Capistrano Unified School District. Like you said, they have the Reggio, like, you know, philosophy. They have the Waldorf. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have language immersion. So mm -hmm. you can have Mandarin immersion. You can have Spanish immersion as well. Yeah. So you just have a lot of options here. Yeah. And so, like, you know, for instance, there's a, you know, there's a Mandarin immersion school in the area. And people from San Juan Capistrano actually have their kids attend that elementary school. Mm -hmm. so, or even San Clemente. Yeah, you know, or, or even Mission Viejo. Yeah. So San, if you want to back up. Because so, Capistrano Unified School District is huge. It's it goes big. all the way down to San Clemente. Yeah. It's so, kind of like... Yeah, like all that. So if you want, if you if you're in this district and then there's a particular school that you want for whatever reason, it's it's fairly easy to transfer. Obviously, nothing is guaranteed, but what I've heard from many parents is that if you're consistent and you you know you can eventually get in because you know people move, people drop out for whatever reason they don't like it. So if you just keep calling, oh yeah, there's, calling, a, there's a battle of attrition. For yeah, sure. yeah. So if you keep calling, calling, and people drop off and then you tend to be able to get in, so. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, some of the, and then so houses here, again, you do have your pockets of condos and townhomes and, and apartments and things, but, you know, Laguna Galaxy, it's best known for its houses, right? And so, you again, if you want ocean views, you want to be more or less along this edge here. Yeah. Like, that's kind of where you're going to get your view homes, and or we, they can the, come the, at a cost, too. The, remember the Bear Brand Ranch? Yes. So that is probably the most expensive. Um, well, it is, like $50 million. Yeah, is what yeah. They're asking for well, I mean, the most expensive. Um, like tract. Tract, housing tract, yeah, because they're all custom homes. Can you find it? Do you know where is it? Yeah, so Bear Brand Ranch, like the, these homes, they're kind of like estate-type homes, big yeah. lots, views, big homes. Yeah. And, again, very, you know, just people, it's very, again, people love it. It's a very desirable yeah. area. Well, and then. And it comes at a price. Yeah, well, because uh, there's one that's on the market right now for 50 million, right? That's the asking price? Yeah, and that's, that, that yeah, so that, that so it kind of, obviously, that's <laughs> far and away the highest price. They did a lot to this property, of mm -hmm. course, but, yeah, this area is, you know, really nice. Uh, people, I mean, Sea Watch Community, this place is very cute. Again, you're getting that sea breeze here, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah. and, again, this is a mix. It's not just houses this is a little bit of everything here and it just people just again you got, you got views you know and a lot the of smell spots, of the, the salt yeah, you can smell the salt air yeah yeah and you're gonna get a variety of types of homes right so you mm -hmm. have again you just have houses that are good size that have you know views of course mm -hmm. but then you also have you know smaller houses townhomes and condos yeah so basically and, and another cool thing is you know as while we're in the southern part of this is you know this is so the dividing line here between uh, Monarch Beach and Laguna Niguel is so, pretty much so Monarch. <clears throat> when Sean says Monarch Beach, he's talking about Dana Point, which is a, a beach city. Yes. So Dana Point itself is okay. Dana Point's right here. So this is includes Monarch Beach. So mm -hmm. Monarch Beach is kind of like a section of of Dana Point, the north the northwestern section of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually ma many people who live in, uh, you know, maybe the Sea Watch community, they actually, if they have kids, the kids will go to Dana Hills High School. So you're actually zoned for high school in Dana Point. Yes. And then as we go, yeah, so and then while, so while we're here, so East 9, so they go along this right here, so Crown Valley meets um, Camino del Avion, uh, basically – uh, just super cute. These houses are, you know, just right along this golf course here and range in different sizes, but just really, really nice, nice area. And then uh, as we're kind of moving about, um, let's see here. Where, where else do we, should we? Oh, well, Chaparosa Park. This is, a, this is a play if you're looking for like, yeah, this is a nice little park here. Yeah. And uh, a lot of Little League 
happens there and a lot of AYSO soccer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. And actually, Salt Creek Trail, this thing goes all the way down to... Oh, yeah. So Salt Creek Trail, that goes all the way down to the beach. Yes. So you so can take you can, you can I mean, take you that. Where it is. Like, it's yeah. pretty far up there. And You can take it all the way down to Dana Point. Yeah. Yeah, another large uh, development here is actually Marina Hills. Like, mm-hmm. this is, you know, just a pretty cool area. You have nice parks here. Just, again, you're starting to get... It's kind of like that blend between where it's like kind of beachy to the mm-hmm. northern part of Lagoon Niguel where it's, yeah. again, so you're kind of like that mix. So it's it's not as convenient as, let's say, uh, like, a, like a, uh, what's it called? A Rancho Niguel. Mm-hmm. But, Which is up nearby the, the lake. Yes. But if you're looking for the sea breeze, you will get it at Marina Hills. Yes, it's really nice there. And there is a cute uh, botanical preserve as well. So this is close to the downtown area. Yeah, and it's it's cute. And there's a YMCA there um, with a pool and stuff. And it's cute down there. Yeah, and and, and obviously we're not doing justice to... There's so many different communities within Yeah, different different housing tracks and stuff. I mean, they're all... In a way, they all are so similar. It's how do you really... They are and they aren't, right? Because (laughs) there are differences there. So I guess it... So that's where, like, you got to reach out to us and let us know what you're looking for. If Laguna Gale is that spot, because, again, I love Laguna Gale. We love Laguna Gale. Mm -hmm. But every... Like, there's... All these housing tracks have different kind of features and what they offer. So that's why you got to reach out to us to let us know what you're looking for so we can help you find that right place. So that's it. That's our video. Now, if you see that really cool house online that you want to check out and you want to go see, you got to reach out to us. So either give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.